Well, tonight, flights from Boston are coming into Milwaukee. On one of those flights, a former state assembly speaker who ran the Boston Marathon today. Fox 6's Mike Lowe is live at Mitchell International Airport with his story. Mike, what is he saying tonight? Well, good evening, Mary. Many Wisconsinites will remember the name John Gard. He was the former speaker of the Wisconsin Assembly, and he was one of the runners in Boston from Wisconsin. Of course, he was not alone. There were many others, and they returned to Mitchell International Airport today with stories of a day that was as exhausting as it was emotional. The horror of Boston reflected in the grim faces glued to TV sets at Mitchell International Airport. Even from a distance, it was hard not to feel a connection to the tragedy. But for some, the day's events were personal, filled with worry and waiting for the return of loved ones running a race of so many miles so far from home. Three flights from Boston would return to Milwaukee, and just after 8 o'clock, one by one, the runners were reunited with loved ones who didn't want to let go or even look away for a moment okay. yeah. with the fresh reminder of life's unpredictability and its fragility. <laughs> Brian Pressler was just three blocks from the explosion. Returning home was emotional. I was with my family in Boston and so it was just really special to be able to come back here and make sure that like everything hit home was still safe and just the fact that I was in a very traumatic area. Isabella Sardis was reunited with her husband and children. She finished the race minutes before the explosion. I was a couple blocks away when I heard two uh, big booms and I uh, wasn't really sure what, what had happened. I just saw a lot of people running away. And Kevin Drexler was clearly exhausted. Hours after finishing the marathon, he had truly crossed the finish line. We feel pretty blessed that, that I finished when I did and we got out of there when we did, but you know, our prayers are out for the, the victims and, and those that didn't finish. And the father of one runner who did not finish, a girl who goes to Boston College, he said she was stopped just about one mile before crossing the finish line. It is a safe bet that she and many other runners will return next year, this time to go the distance. Reporting live tonight at Mitchell International Airport, Mike Lowe, Fox 6 News. And Mike, there must have been some concern that those flights wouldn't even make it to Milwaukee, that perhaps because of security they would be grounded. Did you hear that from the people that you spoke with, or did they say they were always given the green light? No, indeed, we did hear that, Mary. There was concern uh, all over Boston today that there could be other attacks, there could be other uh, issues going on with security, and people were worried that they wouldn't make these flights, that these flights may be grounded. But indeed, they did come in. Uh, three direct flights from Boston to Milwaukee came back tonight, and uh, everyone that we saw was safely reunited with their families. All right, Mike, thank you. Well, after hearing of the bombings in Boston today, Oak Creek Mayor Steve Scafidi immediately thought of the people there, but also about what happened.